I'm Jacob Dizon, your community reporter for the Santa Maria Valley, where limited cattle supply across the country has left local restaurants and grocery shoppers feeling the impacts of the rising costs of beef. Everything's gone up, including the beef. It's gone up quite a bit. Well, I don't buy beef very often because you don't need a lot of red meat. But when I do, I, you know, I look at prices and uh, I try to best get the best quality for the best price, and that's getting harder to do. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, retail beef prices are at a record high of around $8 per pound, up nearly a dollar from its lowest average cost last year, and roughly 60% more expensive than a decade ago. I look at the prices. I try to pick the um, package with the cheaper price because it'd be the lower weight, or I do it because of the price but I picked the lower weight. Just southeast of Orchid and Casmalia, a long-standing steakhouse has seen their expenses grow as well. We've seen beef prices go up about 20% in the last couple of years, and that's due to a lot of reasons. Hitching Post General Manager Terry Strickland says her restaurant gets its supply of cattle from the Midwest, where according to a livestock report from the USDA, beef production is expected to decline by 180 million pounds through the end of the year. As a result, Strickland says this past year, menu prices at the hitching posts have gone up. The meat industry hasn't uh, bounced back from the shutdowns during COVID. They're still like 25% short on their labor, so everything costs more. She says a steak dinner at the hitching post will cost you about $10 more than it did last year. And at a time of inflated costs, Orchid mother Deborah Collingwood says she's become more selective about when she eats out. I used to go out probably a couple times a week. Now I go out maybe once every other week because the prices are so high. Strickland adds that despite the growing expenses, the hitching post only raises menu prices when it's absolutely necessary. We'll keep going. We'll be here for another hundred years, uh, God willing, and um, keep, we won't change our quality because of prices. You know, our customers know that we'll, We'll pay more if it if that's what it takes. I also tried reaching out to cattle ranches in the area to weigh in on what they're seeing locally, but they were unavailable for comment. Experts say the dry weather seen last year also limited hay production by 13 percent, leaving some nationwide farmers unable to feed their cattle. In Orchid, Jacob Dizon, KSBY News.